guys, it's Savannah and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. If you guys haven't already, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And also don't forget to click on the notification bell so you guys will be notified when I upload a new video. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right on into the video. So today's mascara is going to be the new Tarte Man Eater Mascara, and I believe this mascara is exclusive to Ulta. So yes, this is what the packaging looks like. It's super cute. It has the replica print of the box on the mascara tube, and I think that is just so freaking adorable. If you're a fan of purple or gold or leopard print, you will die for this packaging. So this is what the brush looks like. It has bristles all around the brush and then towards the tip of the brush, there's kind of bristles, but it's a little bit more sparse, almost in a ball form, but not quite. And yeah, I'm excited to try this mascara out and let's just go ahead and get on started. So I'm dealing with some lash malfunction. Um, I think my lash curler just cut off my lashes. I half wanna cry, half feel like I need a thing I will survive so yeah um we're just gonna go ahead and work with what we have left this is a very sad day so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my first coat of the man eater mascara by Tarte So this is what my lashes look like after one coat of the mascara and I want to cry so bad right now. You can just see like a huge chunk of my lashes missing right here and it is so not cute. I'm going to have to be wearing falsies for quite a while until they grow back out. The mascara is great. It is a drier formula. I think that it like, definitely lengthens my lashes really well and separates them really well as well. So far, I do like the mascara. I'm going to go ahead and apply my second coat. So this is what my lashes look like after two coats of the mascara, and after two coats, I'm not a huge fan of it. I feel like um, one coat was kind of like the max for this mascara because after two coats, it does start clumping on me, and yeah, I feel like I do get a little bit of product transfer onto my lids. That might be a user error, but I'm usually pretty careful with applying my mascara, so I feel like this product does transfer quite a bit. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the little lash malfunction. I know for sure, for a fact, that I do not enjoy this lash malfunction whatsoever, but what am I gonna do about it? So for the pros of this mascara, I think that this will be a very nice mascara if you like that really, really volumizing, thick lashes kind of look. It is very, very heavy, even just with one coat. So if you're someone that's going to like that really dramatic lash look, then you might want to go ahead and check this out. I feel like as far as it holding my curl, it doesn't drop my curl, but it doesn't exactly hold them well either. So it's kind of like an in-between for that one. For the cons of this mascara, I feel like it's not a very great mascara to layer. I feel like two coats of this mascara is just way too much for me and it starts getting really really clumpy. I like the dramatic big lashes but I'm not a huge fan of like let's clump all your lashes together. No girl. I feel like there's also a lot of drugstore mascaras that can help you achieve the same look as this mascara and this mascara didn't have a giant wow factor for me. It's not a bad mascara but it's not like OMG everybody you guys need to run out and get this immediately. No, save your dollar bills. Other than that, I think that is all I have to say for this video. If you guys haven't already, please go ahead and follow me on my other social media sites, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I would love, love, love to see you guys over there. And yeah, please thumbs up and subscribe because it would make me very happy and my heart all fuzzy. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.